This is not the story of the One. The One encompasses too much, crushing everything and making it the same. No. This is the story of the many, who are blessed with difference and rich in strangeness. This is the story of a family. Folks, I need some help. I need you, my family, to help me escape the Eternal Cylinder. I stumbled into this game and I don't know what is going on. This is the strain one of the strangest things I've played in a long time. Um so this is by Ace Team, which is famous for the Rock of Ages games, which I've never really played, but I've seen them and they look kinda goofy. This is on a whole nother level. Um as far as I can tell, it's not procedurally generated, so we're going to start a new game. Um, can we? Oh yeah, I guess we can just click here. Uh, so this is a survival game, so to speak. Once upon a time, in the age of the Eternal Cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebon. You know, as the, the stories are not told, the, strongest, the Trebon. Nor the fastest. And they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. So, survival game. So I'm playing as one of these and things. And very, very stubborn. And it kind of... It is with such a trip get going here begins. real quick One after this intro so born into a crew you're gonna see what would be instrumental the gameplay is all about pretty quickly kind. and then we'll then we'll talk about it because there's a lot to discuss here uh, it has kind of a spore vibe I'd have to say which I'm not for or against. But yeah, I'm just I'm just being born here, man. You know, we're right from the right from the beginning. In case you were wondering, the internal cylinder isn't a metaphor or a euphemism or anything like that. Uh, that's that's it right there up in the up on the right side of the screen. That's the run. cylinder. Something inside him said, "Run!" Uh, and we're gonna run because we've got. Oh my god, it's the cylinder! Um, you can roll up in this ball. You can jump. We're gonna do all this. Let's roll into this ball. The ball, you go a lot faster when you're when you're rolled up in the ball. Uh, so... Oh, also, this is, a, this is an early access. This is like a beta that you were able to sign up for. Um... So that's how I got into this. So this isn't the full game, but there's some, quite a bit of a uh, quite a bit of content here. So this gigantic cylinder, which this world devouring cylinder, is going to be coming to a stop here, thankfully. The great crushing thing, the great cylinder, had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. So we can, uh, the narrator is really good. He's kind of like explaining the story. Um, and we can kind of, we're, we're this, <laughs> we're this post-apocalyptic future, uh, Qbert is the best way I can describe it. Or also a little bit Kirby, because we can suck stuff up. And we can also suck stuff up, like this orb that the, uh, one of those, um, uh, grasshopper things left. And then we can eat it. 
So this is the big thing about this game. And oh boy, Just when he was starting to get used to its legs. The food from the jumping creature gave it. Now we can jump real high. With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. Yeah, so at this point it kind of like just opens you up to uh, exploration here. Um, we can like shoot water, which is useful for certain things. Uh, we can, like like I said before, we can, we can suck stuff up, which is useful because then when you eat it, you, you gain the abilities of it if it's like a... If it's like a creature or something like that, um, and and you know we can even shoot uh, things that we've eaten. So I can go to two here, and we can throw that out. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's the gameplay. That's uh, that's the gameplay. Um, that's not all the gameplay. There's a lot more that we'll unlock, but that's kind of the gist of it. And yeah, we just kind of walk around here, and this world looks really cool. Like, it's it's really unique, I think. Like, really stark. Uh, looks almost like a No Man's Sky uh, planet. Um, and yeah, there's like, there's all sorts of creatures that you're going to come across. Like, there's another one of those grasshoppers. Uh, the grasshoppers are good. They'll, you can you can suck up their, uh, thing and 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 become Except for the jumpy. Grass growing on the old one's um, head. They were very much alike. And when we we'll talk to this, this guy life, here, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things, but the cylinder would not allow it. Oh, snap. Yeah, so the cylinder doesn't stay asleep for long. I don't really know what triggers it specifically. Um, there are different things that trigger it, but basically, when you when the when the cylinder gets wakes up, so to speak, it's time to make your way to these towers that kind of stop it. The Trebum had to step on the symbol, or the cylinder would not be stopped. And you seem to be the only one that's capable of doing this, so... We'll step on this. Now this thing will come... It'll crush everything. And then it'll come... Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this thing! Oh my! Run, creepy mouth creature! Oh my god. Those are bad guys, though. We don't... We don't actually want them to live. Yeah, then the cylinder stop when we can continue on. Inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. And that's kind of the loop here. And then we have this area to explore. And relative like I said, the, the game Trebum seems to be think about its family. Handcrafted, so you're not getting new procedurally generated areas. It's it's kind of kind of just gives you the same stuff over and over again. I mean, um, every time you start the game, I don't know if like the final version is going to be procedurally generated, but there are like milestones you have to hit in order to you know continue Our the game. Um. A with one of his siblings. And well, the egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. So what we'll do is we'll we'll hatch one of these things. I think I can just put it in here. Uh, 
Yep, there we go. So now there's another one of me. You can name them or you can keep the procedural generated name. I don't know why you would ever change the procedural generated name because they're just the best. Um, Huguo is my new friend. And you'll notice that Huguo doesn't have the jumpy legs. That's because he was just born and he hasn't picked up that mutation yet. So as you build out your party, that's right, you build out your party in this game. Each creature can have its own different, uh, its own different, um, traits, its own different mutations. So I can switch between Hugo and Guo, 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 Po, Guo, Guo, Po, whatever. And, you know, he can jump, but he's got, he's kind of, this, this other guy's kind of a blank slate right now, so... Um, and they can die, so you have to be careful about that. Um, and they will die, there's just moments where shit just goes bad. Um, and like I said, these, these teeth monster guys, these are not good guys. They will, they'll chase you and they'll try to eat you, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna taunt them a little bit. I'm saying, like, ah, oh my god. Yeah, so we're, we're good. He's he stopped. Um, what are these guys? Can we suck one of these guys up? Oh, dear. I don't know. There's a lot of poking around and exploring and... You know, figuring out exactly what everything does in this game, which is something that... Uh, you know, sometimes missing from a lot of survival games today. We haven't really gotten into the survival aspect of it yet. There's definitely um, more of that. In fact, down near the water, that's actually a resource uh, that you need to to perform certain actions. So if that drains and you run out of water, then you have to um, find water and drink it. And then eventually we'll find f we'll we'll need to uh, we'll need to find food. What is this? Oh boy! Look at this big boy. Ah, uh, snail dude. And then there's this dude who it does not enjoy our presence. Ah, oh, here we go. You can hear these things kind of tooting. Well, guess what? Uh, can we eat one? We gotta clear up some inventory space. Come on. Notice the aiming with the mouse is not great. It leaves kind of a lot to be desired. There we go. So now, if we eat this... Oh no! Oh, I got a horn! <laughs> you heard me. Now look at this guy, he's like, Bleh. he's gonna... Bleh. Oh no! Oh no, he died! Oh! Shit. Oh no, I got... Oh man, I'm in a bad way here. Get out of here! Oh no! Oh, I died! Oh! Okay, it auto saved a few seconds ago. <laughs> that didn't go as as planned. Um, but yeah, it does. It does kind of. It's a it's a pretty dangerous game. Uh, 
you can kind of figure out figure your way through things and, and learn some things but it's always throwing new stuff at you which is pretty cool and it, it does save so you can it's not like I'm starting over so that's what I wanted to do I wanted it to, to be like oh I, I he yelled at me I'm a uh, I'm not really as mean as I made myself out to be Ooh. What is this? Hard shell. Some ingredients cannot be eaten until their edible interiors have been exposed. All oh, right. Okay. So then we can we can take this thing and we can shoot it. No, that didn't. It wasn't hard enough. You have to like smash it up against something. Oh, I think we lost it. Must have gone in the water. Oh, there's an egg. Um. If we can get one of these guys or one of these fish, then that'll let us swim. Oh, yeah. See, now we can swim. I think this is an egg. I'm actually not 100% sure. I don't know what these are. I don't know if these are going to be things that we can interact with later on or they're just set dressing right now. They look cool and they, they stand out so it seems like maybe we'll be interacting with them at some point. I'm gonna bring this over here. Hopefully this guy doesn't give me too much trouble. So I see some uh, possible spot to incubate an egg up here. If I can get up here. Finding another trip up is a cause for joy. But this new friend was not well. Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trebum found the answer. To recover, its friend needed a very specific substance, which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trebum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Give me your butt. Give me your butt. Luckily, your butt nugget. The wise and powerful Trebon had passed through here some time ago. So now I substituted the webbed feet for the high jump thing for the high jump feet. 
and we can get this guy up and running. Grogri, Grogray, Grogray, whatever. Whatever his name is. I don't know. I don't think this is an egg. I think this is something different. I don't think I can get it in there either. Take this, all this good crystal stuff. So there's a door over here that I want to open. And I don't remember how many you need, if you need three or two. Oh, there this we go. Oh, where'd this guy come from? Build for Trevor. Sometimes they just appear. I don't, I don't know. That in this large and dangerous <clears throat> world, some places had been made for them. So you, you, you'll come into these caves every once in a while, or these, um, there's different, all sorts of different kinds of, like, almost like temple kind of things. And, yeah, there's just some little puzzle here. There's usually some new, uh... Some new um, ability you'll discover, or something like that. And like I said, it the, the demo. I don't know how long it is, but I have played for like probably like a two-hour-long session and haven't gotten to anything that is kind of like the end. So uh, it's hard to tell like how long this is, but in that time frame. Uh, I, I came across some cool stuff. Uh, I don't know. Am I supposed to be doing something here? I mean, I know I'm supposed to be doing something. E to interact. Oh. Somehow this ancient statue transferred knowledge to the Trevor. Oh, right, okay. It was as if a memory had been stored inside it, waiting for someone to absorb it. And as soon as this knowledge had entered their minds, the Trebum realized that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this Trebum made of stone? <laughs> I'm a cute guy. Alright, yeah, obviously we want to collect all of this. All these little bits here because they, uh, they're used for a lot of stuff. They aren't just used to revive characters. They use them, use them to actually upgrade your characters as well. Um... Maybe we'll get to that. You know, I don't. I don't really want to make this a super long video because you can kind of. Well, I could say you, you kind of get the idea, but really you don't. I don't even get the idea. Uh, it just keeps getting weirder and weirder, honestly. Um, so we're gonna cube all all my dudes here. I think you need them all. I don't know. Maybe you don't. But hey, who, who, who doesn't want to be a cube, right? The game does have uh, gamepad support. I'm using mouse and keyboard right now. But the gamepad works well, too. Um, and now we're going to meet an old dude. What's up, old dude? Inside the cave, a Trebum found a living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. Before the cylinder came. He said, you are young, 
So you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We, Trebon, are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities. Abilities passed on to all future Trebon. But this power is being taken away. Oh, no. Beware the servants of the Cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity. And they have the power to rob you of your abilities. But if you persevere, one day you will find a way to protect yourselves from their evil light. Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper in this time of struggles. Dude just drops the knowledge bombs and is like, I'm just gonna sit here and die. Take my shiny stuff. And I'm like, don't mind if I do. But yeah, that's kind of how the story's told. It's just like these little info dumps that kind of add a little bit of lore to the very strange world. And, uh, you just kind of move on. There isn't... It's, it it's just very strange. <laughs> I can't really... But the elder had urged them to go it's like, it's unlike any Suddenly they game that I've really ever played before. Fegel. To find their Trebum siblings restore the powers their people had lost and it all seemed a little daunting but even when they are afraid Trebum are stubborn oh that's the cylinder over there I don't want to go so uh, yeah so I guess I crossed this this lake here by going into that temple uh, so now we'll just move on um, oh yeah so here we go so this is how you know once I cross this threshold, this this green glowing threshold, the cylinder will wake up and it'll start uh, rolling again. So you gotta be prepared to deal with that. Oh god, these guys suck! They kind of like come at you and then try to crush you. Come on, dudes. Let's go. Time to roll. The cylinder resumed its destruction. Nothing could stop it forever. They needed to roll to safety to find another tower to protect them quickly. So you can't roll forever. See that, that meter in the middle going down? So you kind of have to, you know, let it charge up a little bit and then, and then go. Oh lord, he coming. I think what's so cool about this isn't, I mean obviously the the setting and the art design and everything like that is really cool, but just the confidence that the game has in its, its systems and the way it handles itself, it's like it's just doing it without hesitation. It's like, yes, this is weird. Deal with it. Kind of, kind of situation. And uh, I, I dig it. I can't wait. Like, like I said, this is a beta, so it's not done. Uh, there's definitely some uh, control quirks and some performance issues that could be taken care of. Uh, and obviously, I'm sure there isn't all of the content um watch for the beam of light come from activated towers um yeah okay yeah so they kind of point you in directions of uh things to head to you get a map at some point that it's kind of rudimentary but it does kind of show some some little spots that you can check out broken world, on the map from the history of their um, Everyone was but yeah just the confidence today. that it is it's like doesn't feel like it needs to over tutorialize to you to because enough of the mechanics are kind of 
similar to other games and not too obtuse, but it just kind of remixes things in a way that are really, really cool. Uh, and I just can't wait to see like what, like how far this goes when it finally comes out. I think it's scheduled to come out either at the end of this year or beginning of next year. Um, with the with the games being delayed and stuff like that, you can never really be sure. In this strange, eerie um, time, when a game is actually going to come out, but stir in their memories. There was a great power in this place. Something from the days when even the elders were young. Perhaps it could help them. So there, then we get these uh, weird temples that you can explore. So I think... Uh... Forget exactly how all this goes. This gives me spikes. Yeah, this gives me spikes. And then these... I believe these will now follow me because they like the the grass on top of my head so I can get these dudes to come over here oops and then yeah they'll they'll activate this little thing over here oh and this is the map uh, So then you, you get this, like I said, you get this rudimentary map of like, here I am, here's something to explore, and then here's the next zone, and like, you'll kind of learn like what all these little symbols mean, so like, this is like the green miasma spot, this is obviously the border of where you can go before the cylinder wakes up, and uh, like, here's the next set of towers, so you can kind of like plan your journey, it'll be like, okay, so... Once I leave this area, I have to kind of thread the needle here because I don't want to go down into this uh, poison. Um, and then there's another thing up here that we're going to find. I think I got to this weird snake serpent uh, in one of my other playthroughs. Um, and yeah, you know, it, it kind of shows you, keeps a log of all the help things in case you get confused. The compendium is like, uh, you can quickly check to see incandescent pearl um, has an edible interior but you have to break it and, and just like keeps track of all the stuff that you discover uh, and then there's there's creatures too but it doesn't look like I've I found any I don't even I don't know um, and an inventory is of like keeps track of all of your crew members and what they have in their inventory so like you can store special things like uh if you get one of those jumping pearls you can store that and not use it right away and only use it when you need to and stuff like that something new had entered their memories and they needed to make sense of it it seemed to be a map and on this map a location had been marked if they understood correctly there was some manner of serpent, a guardian, a greater being of some kind somehow linked to a safe haven. Could they find refuge there? Their ancestors must have created this map for a reason. Like we're not done here, like we gotta, if you explore around, we found, we can find this, these chests which have, uh, sometimes have special upgrades in them. Special mutations. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. Let's go into the inventory and find out. How do I. Here we go. An armored pearl.
After the Kalborak has ingested its a meal, it will process the parts and catch cannot digest into a remarkably hard compressed pearl. The core of the pearl's organic contains a colony of the Kalgorats. Oh, gross, okay. Um, yeah, so I don't know what we're going to be able to do with that. Hopefully we'll be able to do something with it soon. But I've been here before, and I know that there's a secret up there. So I'm going to try to get that. Um, is this a jumpy guy? Who's my jumpy guy? You're my jumpy guy. Hmm. I wonder if I shot something up there. Forget how I went about getting that last time. I don't spend too much time, but we'll try. Ooh. That went far. Oh, so close. <gasps> there we go. Ah! Third eye. You can use this mutation to look for specific ingredients and tag them. Oh, that's right. Of all the changes the Trebum were experiencing, growing a third eye was the strangest one yet. To make things even stranger, this eye seemed to look in two directions at once. Into the world and into their memories. They could use it to find in the real world any element that was contained in the web of their memories. It was truly a remarkable mutation. All right. So we're going to find some more of those hopper things with this third eye. Um, Uh-oh. Whoa. What manner of strange beast lurked behind the <sighs> cylinder? The Trebum were deeply unsettled by this new mystery. What the hell? Something... Though some part of them was curious... Survived the cylinder? They were certain it would be best not to find out. So yeah, this is that green miasma, and if I don't have... There must be some sort of mutation I can pick up, but right now, if I go down there, it'll just slowly kill me. So I don't want to fall down there. Um. I really should have gotten some water while I was in there. I might go back in and grab some because I think water is one of the things you need for. Oh shit, it closed. Alright, well. I think water is one of the things that. You boosts your how long how far you can roll I forget honestly um, so the map I want to go up through here so let's see if we can manage that Kind of see, yeah, we're going through right through here, so uh, cylinders rolling, we're rolling. So, like, this <laughs> this is actually, from what I understand, Rock of Ages is this is this mechanic of, of rolling is kind of like in that in their wheelhouse, so you know, that they're not. This ace team, they are not strangers to weird games. That's for sure. Look at my dude. Okay, so here's the... The hunger comes into play. 
So the stomach meter represents your party's food and energy levels divided into two parts. So there's the food and energy, As and fear faded, the you can just kind of feeling weak and tired. With all the excitement and adventure, they'd neglected their most basic needs. The sound of an empty stomach reminded them that survival Ooh. requires more than escaping from danger. You also have to eat. Luckily, one of the many gifts of the Trevum is the capacity to store food in their bodies. But they still need to digest it to gain the vital energy that gives them strength. And for such small creatures, they do require rather a lot of food. Fortunately, the savannah was rich in flora and fauna, which would satisfy their little bellies without necessarily triggering a mutation. So yeah, now all of these little things that we find uh, floating around uh, can be eaten. And um, I also just picked up a mutation that slowly transforms uh, things I have inside this Trebon into water. You can see it down in the meter, down in my inventory there, it's slowly uh, transforming these things into water. Um, it's really only useful for, to have one character have that kind of mutation and, and they'll just slowly digest things into water. The other weird thing here is um, you kind of have this community stomach so like each Trebon doesn't need to have need to eat one eating uh, is good for is good for the whole group which is which is kind of cool so there isn't a whole lot of micromanagement and stuff like that um, and I think there's an egg over here that be able to hatch Oh, what's... Oh, there's actually one inside of here already. I need two, three mushroom things. Hmm. That looks like one. Maybe. Yeah, I need three of them now. And we can rescue our... our fellow dude. I think I was an idiot and oh no he still does have the the third eye so oh shit get out of here some enemies pursue you for quite a while uh, these, these one these guys that are that come down and smash you are particularly pains in the asses um, so let's find that weird mushroom and activate that as the thing that I want to look for. So there should be one over here. Well, I don't want to deal with this dude. Oh, there it is. So who do I have? Oh, there he is. Stop it. There we go. Ah! Oh no. Now I've got one of these guys after me too. Shit. It's dangerous out here. Another one. Oh, there's a mushroom. Alright, well, I got enough now, so... We'll head back over here. We'll wrap this up soon. Uh, this is really all I know about this game so far. 
No, I'm, I've only made it a little bit farther past this. Uh, yeah, so... Now I saved them! Yay! Valhumo! Now I think we got a whole crew, don't we? Yeah! There's a... There's something over here. There are these little, uh... Little caves that you can go into. And they have little secrets. Ooh, look at all this stuff in here. Alright, so there's like a health... One of those things is for health. I don't know if there's any point in needing it now, but... Alright, that'll just give me water. There's another thing that one of these other guys grabbed. Maybe not? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's just food. I'll eat it up. Need more leadership. Okay, so you can get more in your crew as you go along. I just gotta figure out how to get more leadership. So we'll figure that out as we move along here. Let's see, I want everybody to kind of have these leaping legs because they're useful. And you can you can kind of do this so we can go to there and we can eat that and now he's got leaping legs there's this dude who's already got it all right so we're good we're good we're a big old happy family here saving the world and then we some of the stuff not great um the camera doesn't really cooperate very well. Oops. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, alright. Some of us did make it out. So what's this over here? Yeah, I guess that's this game. What's this over here? Let's go in here and find out. Enter Trebon Shrine. Oh, I remember this place. This is where you find you can uh The Trebon felt a great power flowing through this cave. But they were not afraid. The power felt Familiar, even friendly. These glowing structures were the work of their ancestors. So yeah, you can go up to these these things and say, um, "I want to increase my stamina. Um, I don't have enough." Uh, to do that here enough mineral, but maybe we can find some uh, In here to, to kind of boost that up and Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different stats uh, Water storage One of these is leadership. I remember Food storage Leadership must be this first one over here Oh, 
No, health, okay. Oh, maybe it's this. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, leadership. So we'll upgrade that. That's cheap. But then the next upgrade will be four. So we can collect some of this if we want to upgrade it again. That'll let me... Uh, that'll let me go and wake that one up down in the... Down that pit. And then there's stuff up here that I think... We actually need to throw stuff at it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Somehow you can you can knock those things down. Oh, okay. You can just suck them right up. And there, that's a special, you need a special upgrade for that too. Special mutation to allow you to um, process ores. There's a lot, it's a lot. And a lot of what you come to know from survival games, like, you know, you're, I now have a walking water creation machine, right? So you're like, it's like a mobile survival game where now I, as I walk around, I'm generating water, which keeps me alive. And then, you know, you can find the one that, the mutation that gives you food and, um, and stuff like that. So you, you're kind of, um, inspired to have a group of creatures that, you know, uh, Are versatile and can uh, keep you alive for as long as you possibly can. And like, yeah, I don't know what like the end game is either. Like, can you just keep playing? And if you die, you you can reload. But if you like really screw up, is it possible to? Um, oh, is this going to be re? Oh, this is reseeded. Oh, wow. Interesting. What all? So these are like all questions I have that I don't really have the answers to because I don't know what the final form of this game is going to be. But because I don't know all of that, it's extremely exciting. Because you just don't get you know, games today that are, that really push the envelope, so to speak, of what to expect from them. You know, they're all like, oh, here's another pretty generic open world game. Here's a survival game that's just like all the other survival games. You know, here's your food meter and your water meter and whatever. And this is, this is turning a lot of it on its head. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up here, so. Again, this is The Eternal Cylinder by Ace Team. It's, uh, I'm not sure how long this beta is going for. I know they've extended it a couple of times already, so um, I guess they're getting some good feedback and some good uh, information from the from the testers, so um, they, may, uh, they may try it again. So just uh, go ahead and search for Eternal Cylinder, and on their webpage you can sign up for it, and... They seem to just be giving keys out as people sign up. Um, this is... This is not great. I hope they they sort some of this out. Um, because the, uh, the jumping and the platforming leaves a lot to be desired, unfortunately. See, like, what that? Why did I? Like, it's what I'm supposed to do. I know it's what I'm supposed to do, yet it just keeps pushing me out. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up there. Um, I could mess with that all day. Uh, so yeah, Eternal Cylinder Ace Team, published by Good Shepherd Entertainment, which is the first time I've heard of them. 
but uh seems really cool uh, so stay tuned for more of that as it launches or more betas come out because i'm going to keep checking it out anyway thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for more